Starting at the second wicket, Nigel Aspinall, currently England's and the world's number one ranked player, will describe the four ball break. Now, I want to send the blue to the fourth hoop and stay close to red. So this will be a kind of a stop shot. This is a long distance croquet stroke, so it pays to line the balls up very carefully. Well, the blue is reasonable, and I'm staying close to red, and I'll rush red towards black. Now I'm going to send the red down the field towards the fourth hoop, but not all the way there, just about halfway, and stay very close to black. Now, having made the third hoop, I want to send the black ball to the fifth. So I line it up carefully. Again, another long distance croquet stroke. And this time I'm still going to stay short, hopefully, on the red. Yes, I'm pleased with that. Notice I'm keeping all three balls, blue, red and black, in front of me, in front of me and ahead of me as I play the break. Now I send the blue just a little bit closer to the hoop. Now I want to send the blue ball to the sixth hoop and again, if I can, stay close to red. The blue is in a satisfactory position, so I don't need to try to send the red up there as well, although I could if I needed to do so. While we watch Nigel continue his four ball break, you will become more aware of the importance he, as well as the rest of these fine players, place on the precise execution of each stroke, and that the final position of the balls after the stroke is carefully calculated to ensure the success, not just for the following, but for the next several shots. It is this seemingly effortless flow from wicket to wicket that is the essence of and the much sought after objective all aspiring croquet players must strive to achieve to fully enjoy this challenging game. Many of these strokes, particularly those involving the placing of a ball in contact with another, such as the takeoff, the split, and the roll shots, have rarely been seen in America until recent years, and even then, largely avoided by our players, primarily because of the continuation of deadness of the striker's ball on one at which it is hit from turn to turn, as specified in the USCA rules, which makes the penalty for missing one of these two ball shots far more severe than in the English game. By learning and practicing and mastering these various shots, the quality of American croquet 
will continue to be raised above the kind of backyard game we've all known and enable future American players to better compete amongst ourselves locally as well as at the national and international levels. Shot making aside, the greater challenge offered by croquet is the blending of these physical skills with the strategic aspects of the game. Strategies, however, are based on the shot making abilities each player has, as well as on his skill at assessing the opponent's abilities. In this film, we have avoided introducing the more complex aspects of strategy, but have hopefully provided you with a better understanding and appreciation of those basics with which the beginner as well as the experienced player can set out to conquer the sport.